Number five. The Hookah Falls on the Waikato River is one of New Zealand's most visited natural tourist attractions. On average, the river has a flow rate of about 300,000 liters per second. At the gorge, the river narrows to 20 meters wide and averages 20 meters deep. Letter A. What is the average speed of the river in the gorge? All right, so letter A, this will represent the gorge, and we are asked to find the average speed. They tell us a flow rate here of volume per time, all right? Uh, so we're probably thinking about using this formula over here to relate the variables, right? So the flow rate through a certain cross-sectional area is equal to that certain cross-sectional area multiplied by the velocity of the fluid that's moving. So to find the velocity, we have to simply divide out the uh, area from both sides. So we have the volume flow rate divided by the area. Remember that the volume flow rate has to be in terms of cubic meters. They gave it to us in liters, but you know that for every one cubic meter, there are 1,000 right, liters. So you can simply take this value and divide it by 1,000. And they also want us to find the area, but the area of this thing is not a circle, right? I mean, we're used to doing stuff like that, but they told us it's 20 meters wide by 20 meters deep, so it's basically square, all right? So now we can find simply the uh, velocity. So the volume flow rate is gonna be 300,000. Remember, that's liters per second, so I gotta divide it by 1,000 to get that into cubic meters per second. So that's good for the volume flow rate in the numerator. And then the area is gonna be length times width here, so it's just 20 meters times 20 meters. And we can simply calculate this now, right? So 300,000, divide that now by 1,000, and then divide that now by 20 times 20. And we get a value of about 0 0.75, all right? So 0 0.75 meters per second. That will be the velocity of the water. So that takes care of letter A. Let's look at now letter B. So letter B, they, they're asking, what is the average speed of the water in the river downstream, okay, of the falls when it widens to 60 meters and its depth increases to an average of 40 meters? Um, so again, very similar process, all right? The flow rate is going to be the same, all right? Why is that? Because we assume continuity here. So the volume flow rate through this tiny little gorge is going to equal the volume flow rate through the uh, larger area downstream, okay? Um, all right, so now in terms of calculating this, I'm going to basically use the same formula, right? That the velocity now of the water moving is going to be equal to the volume flow rate all divided by the area. Now, one thing that's kind of important is, you know, they gave us, uh, they gave us the volume flow rate and we want to make sure that this, that the overall volume per second doesn't, or it does exceed the total square area, right? For example, how do, we, how do we know that this comes up all the way to the top, right? Um, how do we know that, you know, the water here isn't laying down below? Well, it has to deal with the amount of uh, volume that's passing through per second. So if you do this multiplication here, you know, and find that area, you'll realize that it's 24, uh, 100, right? 2,400 square meters. It's much less than the volume flow rate. So we should be fine. All right. Um, so now we have the velocity equal that volume flow rate of 300,000. Remember, you got to get that into cubic uh, meters and then divide that by the area. And now the area is 60 times 40. So the velocity now will be 300,000 divided by 1,000 then divide that whole thing by 60 times 40. So we get 0 0.125, 0 0.125. And this is in meters per second, all right? Now you could have also set up a proportion and that's how some problems will be in the future where the volume flow rate through one area will equal the volume flow rate through the other area. So you could have set up a proportion here as well to find the, the velocity. It doesn't matter more than one way to uh, slice the cake. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.